New this morning, today is International Women's Day, a day devoted to women, equality, and empowerment. Hannah Zettel is in studio this morning with details on how one locally based organization is honoring women across the globe. Good morning, Lauren and Joe. Yesterday, Convoy of Hope held a women's luncheon to celebrate local female leaders. But that's just one way the nonprofit is honoring and empowering ladies across seven countries. International Women's Day started in 1909 as a way to commemorate the women's rights movement, education, and empowerment. You teach one woman what she never just keeps it to herself. She shares and shares and shares. And that's the advantage, I think, of it. That's one of the strengths, I think, of being a woman that I embrace and love so much. Some of the same topics discussed then are still on women's minds today on a global scale. A lot of issues that women and girls have in third world countries is really just the curse of being born a girl. And oftentimes that sets them back in school and they find themselves later in life than having children, sometimes widowed or abandoned, and they have no skills to support them or their children. Convoy of Hope honored local ladies with a luncheon Thursday, but the nonprofit works year round to uplift women across the world through its women's empowerment program. Convoy Women Director Dory Donaldson credits the organization with providing education and job training to equip women with the life skills to break the cycle of poverty. The women who have become empowered and through their businesses oftentimes are hiring other women. So it, there's a ripple effect. Their communities are being impacted and even their nations. Convoy's initiative has helped nearly 17,000 women across seven countries receive training and, in some cases, startup capital. As the movement continues to grow, there's a worldwide sense of pride and power in being a girl. The more we do to help and empower a woman to own, own her own power, her own strength, it can change the dynamics not just of her home but also of a country. You know, with International Women's Day, think about powerful women, strong women. I think of my mom and sister who actually are in town today. They just stopped by. My sister has type 1 diabetes, and she was diagnosed with that mm -hmm. um, when she was in high school. And so just the way, like, she deals with that every day mm -hmm. is so inspiring to me. And, like, I could never do it, so. No. Right. And, um, you know, we talked last hour, too, about some of our family that inspires us. Yeah. At Color 10, though, we work with a lot of amazing women. Yeah. You know, Elisa as a female scientist in right. the field. We haven't told her happy women's day yet and then our news director and assistant news director are both amazing women as well that yes. is very true i also enjoy working with you guys each morning it's great bouncing ideas off of you and talking with each other it's always a lot of fun and i think the viewers at home appreciate that as well yeah thank hannah you thank guys. you